Hi, and welcome to this next episode of Tour de Hype. Today I'm going to show you how to create a web banner with a compelling revealer effect. Banners are a common sight on the web. It is therefore very important to catch the user's intention in order to get your message through, and ultimately generate a click. Animations play an important role here, since the human brain is wired to recognize movement primarily. If you combine that with a little eye candy, maybe in a little playful, unexpected way, your battle is half won. So I'm going to show you how to create such an effect in a highly reusable and resourceful way. Here we go. So let's take a look at the project in the browser first. Uh, you can see that there's an animation loop going on throughout this entire banner so that uh, the user doesn't have to start from the very beginning on his own, but it will start over and over again. So basically, what I want to show you is how to create this falling effect um, that you've seen from uh, as transition from one state to the other from the banner. Um, but the advantage here is we are going to use only one image and skip the entire slicing part and stuff like that. So make it more efficient and especially making sure that we only create one request in the browser. So let's take a look at the project in Hype. Here we go. So um, this project is created in a way that we've got two slides, um, as you've seen in the uh, part before. Um, we have this start screen with the question, need a vacation, which will then turn into the uh, demo modus uh, where the call to action comes in at the end. Um, I've sorted it in two separate uh, symbols to keep it very simple. And for now, let's focus on this slide one symbol um, because this contains this highly reusable effect. And it's re really not that difficult to create and highly reusable. So uh, this is why I love this sample so much. Um, let's see what we are doing here. So basically, it consists of groups and each group contains uh, one image. And as you can see, it's the same image over and over again. So why are we doing this? Let's take a look at the one uh, that says bottom left. That's the one that starts first. Um, if I scrub in the timeline, you can see that these, this image is falling apart piece by piece. So in order to create this effect um, or any kind of uh, this uh, falling down or just uh, image getting um, ripped apart effect, um, we will use the content overflow for the containing element. This is why I create a group for each section of the image. So basically, um, I have four, the same image four times and a section around each part of the image and the section boundaries, this is what you can see here with a, with a yellow outline. The section boundaries will define the aspect of the image. So if you want to have more, um, more parts that then will be animated in different ways, you can simply add more groups with the same image. And um, using this content overflow, um, create some kind of mask that will only show this part of the image within the boundary. Because the image itself within here is actually um, the same size as the entire symbol, but only this part is visible, as you can see here. Which makes only this part being animated. Make sure to animate the entire group and not the image itself to, in order to apply this kind of movement to the image. As I said before, you can add any kinds of movements. You can move them to the side or down or up or whatever. So creating this kind of animation then step by step for each part then generates this kind of falling apart effect. And since the other, let me quickly show you, the other slide is right underneath, this falling apart will then reveal the next part of the 
banner. Everything else is just plain um, animations created in Hype. So using the Hype functionality here, um, as you can see, there's no scripting involved. It's really plain uh, using the tools within this awesome animation author to authoring tool. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to have a detailed instruction on how to create this kind of uh, banner effect, uh, use the step-by-step -step instructions that go along with the download. So yeah, enjoy it. I hope you enjoyed this little sneak. Make sure to download the project on tourtohype.com and experiment with this technique to create your own compelling revealer effect. Happy animating.